My name is Joanna Love, I'm an artist and I'm really interested in making images that operate at the limits of human perception, invoking ideas around the technological sublime through print drawing and photographic uh, languages and images that emerge through scientific technology of microscopic particles of dust. I'm really interested in how drawing reconnects this image to something more known, more physical and particularly the slowness of drawing through stone lithography. I'm Leora Brook. I work mainly at the moment in painting and printmaking. The subject matter is contemplative. Interior meditation involves this sort of scrutiny of surface, looking at a very familiar occurrence of the folds of a sheet, re-seen, re-drawn, re-photographed, and through that contemplation making connections to both macro and micro events and contexts concerning memory, the body, art, science, subconscious, um, and so on. So the work we've both arrived at over the last two years actually comes together through a real sense of using the surface as part of the significance of the work. The way for me, the mezzotint, the process of having to prepare the plate, the rocking of the, the grain, pushing those hundreds of needle points into the copper, taking time to build up this dense crystalline surface of, of sort of multi-directional grid of tiny little pits and troughs. The time it takes to do that by hand and to invest that amount of time to defer the moment, the moment of approaching that velvety blackness to bring the image out of the darkness. I think when you say deferring time, it's something that puts a lot of people off stone lithography, but actually that's the enjoyment, is stopping for hours to pull out the grain, use the grain as part of the work and not try and fight against it. You're scraping into the surface, and for me drawing onto the surface, with the surface, but actually then the etch of a stone, the image becomes similar to the mezzotint plate. They're kind of strange reversals. Yes, because for you, the, when, you, when you're drawing with the lithographic question, on. You're leaving a trace of the material on the stone, whereas when I'm burnishing into the mezzotin, I'm actually pushing the surface back into itself. There is this extraordinary connection with your, from your eye through your arm to your hand to through your in, for me the burnisher for you the crown into feeling that 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 texture of the grain that you're I think working the, into. That word feeling as well. And for a lot of artists, and I think a lot of printmakers, to relate to sort of philosophies of you know phenomenology, using the body, the you know the hand, the touch, the tactile surface, those are all things that really connect us to making images. I think, mm. um, and I know that you know there's some really interesting things around uh, touching and its relationship to thought and the connection between touch and thought. Which is interesting in yours because and it is almost like caressing or stroking the subject matter through that touch. You, you make it human, you bring it into the world of, of, of feeling, of, mm. of emotion in a way, but you're presenting it still with its white background yeah. as, a, as a scientific image. Whereas the opposite in a way in the mezzotints, this dark background, almost by its nature, suggests the subconscious or, or something that, that we can't see rather than it isn't there. I think one, one of the things is, you know, the question of why make prints when we're talking about drawing. It goes back to that collaboration between the drawn, the action of drawing through the surface of another material, plate, a gre plate, a stone, whatever it might be, a woodcut, for example. But but particularly it's this collaborative um, all coming together to then create another thing, the, the print on the paper surface. Yeah, for me it's almost alchemical, this sort of the setup of this process and ritual of the making and then out of that generating this, this image that comes as a, as a result of those, those um, processes, which in a way can be predicted but somehow continues to surprise. Mm. Um, and the reproducibility of the, the images of print is perhaps useful in the fact that your work can get out there, but it isn't the primary motivation. Uh, the motivation for engaging in this process is this, this sense of generating through the grain, through the metal, through the stone, and this um, in, you know, real close relationship with mm. drawing yeah. in the grain. So, yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching, listening.